what's going on YouTube. Today I'm here to show you how to do front and rear control arms on this 2014 Dodge Charger. This is going to apply to a lot of Dodge front wheel drive cars, but particularly to this Charger. Anyways, enough talk. If y'all haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. I've already got the parts right here. You have a front and you have a rear control arm, meaning front, front, rear, rear, not in the rear, front, rear. First thing you're going to want to do is grab you a 21, take loose your lower ball joint bolt. Now it's going to come off kind of hard because it's a self-locking nut. Set your bolts to the side so you know where they went. Next thing you're going to do is we're going to take the front bolts out. Now you don't have to do this the same order I'm doing it. I'm just showing you how I do it. Get you a 21 and an 18. Now, if you want to take that cover off the bottom, you can. I work around it. Now the frame kind of bolt blocks you from getting this nut off, so push back on it as you're taking the nut off. Take your washer off. Handy dandy pry bar. Just flex that plastic out of the way. This side doesn't have all that plastic in the way. I've already done the other side, so I might have to take it down some fellers. Go figure. Flips out. So close. Come on. There we go. All right. A little bit of a workout. All right, now 
Now that bolt's free. Grab your hammer. Times it'll come right out. You turn your wheel out. Now, when you get your new control arms, make sure they're clocked the same way because you have a left and a right. Notice the angle of it's the same. Take your nut off, take your plastic protecting boot off. Make sure you don't trap yourself. You want to go above. Get in there, buddy. Right. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start that bolt. We'll work with that next. Now, usually I'd pass it through the other way to make it easier, but because the angle of the frame won't allow that, we're gonna have to do this fighting crap again. Grab that pry bar again. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. It's a little bit of a workout, and it's really hot out today. Gotta wiggle till you get it in. You know what I'm saying, boys? Slide it back so you can get the washer on. And the nuts start it because the angle of the frame traps you. Now, before you tighten that, get your ball joint in. Turn your wheel back in, it'll help fall right in, usually. Now they give you a new nut, so reuse that because it's self-locking. You don't want to reuse a self-locking nut. All right, I'm not gonna tighten nothing down yet. Leave this loose until I tackle this other one. And we have a little bit of wiggle room. All right, now we're going to want to take an eight millimeter and take this little metal heat shield out of the way. You can just take that one off and bend it out of your way. Because you have to take off the sway bar to get to the back side of that bolt. It's a 15 millimeter. The swivel socket works good. Alright. Set that aside. Just corresponding bolts with what they go to. That down. It's an Allen head on the back side. Now put this in the position it goes. Like that goes on the back. If you don't know the back, if you don't know. Now 
that's going to be a 12 millimeter Allen head, which I don't know why they use an Allen head, that's weird. enough to take it off with your hand. Once we loosen these other bolts, that'll move a little bit so we can get that the rest of the way out. Let's take you an 18. That's a, this strut has a welded nut on it, so you don't have to hold that other side. that loose. Yeah. All right. Now we have to take the top nut loose, which is a 21 millimeter. Pop that back out real quick. I should have known. That was kind of in my way. Just like that. You pull out, that'll drop out, and you can work with it. Be a twenty one. If I can put just a socket on it without an extension. Just like that. Have your hammer time tool again. right off from there you don't want to hit the ball joint because you're not changing that doesn't matter on the other one because you're ch the other one's got the ball joint built into it all right wrong way it only goes on one way me a new nut for that which that's strange because it's a self-locking nut so in this case we're just gonna have to reuse one of these it's just tighten it real good that's all you gotta do that's such a big deal when it has a cotter pan but it don't snug it real good. It won't come off. It's just best to use a new one whenever you have the opportunity. Alright.
red nut. Push your washer in because it doesn't want to clear that angle. You do it like that. Go to the other side so you can see what you're working with. that washer nut that and now start it here that's already tight Turn your wheel a little bit, and that'll swivel for you. Just like that. Now be careful because remember the threads are built into this. Before I trap myself, get that out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and start that nut. They gave me a new nut for that. Just make sure your hand started. Right. Now, I should be able to run it down. Grab the 18 again. that and go ahead and tighten that lower bolt like that and that and ratchet Reverse it. You want to tighten that bolt real good. I'm just show you a trick if you're using a wrench. You break a bar, you won't have to worry about it. But if you're using a wrench, just grab a bigger wrench, clip it to the end. Careful, don't slip. Ugh. Nice and snug. Grab your 18 and your 21. Mountain wrenches are awesome. They're long and you can tighten stuff really good. So that's tight, that's tight, that's tight, that's tight, that's tight. You just make sure you put your clips back in your skid plate down there. Put the back piece on first. Front piece. Just like that. 15 millimeter bolts. Yeah. Yeah, that 
headlamp. It used to fit me until I lost weight. Now it's just annoying. Put your little cover back on. Little eight millimeter bolt. And just go back over it. You tighten that, you tighten that, you tighten that, you tighten that, and tighten that. Just recheck yourself. This is suspension. You don't want it to be loose. That is a safety issue. All right, well, we're all good. I'm just gonna put my clips back in my cover right there. Sorry if I was a little out of breath. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Please check like down below. Y'all have a good day. Peace out, YouTube. You just make sure you put your clips back in your skid plate down there. Put the back piece on first. That front piece, like that Two 15 millimeter bolts, that. Yeah, that headlamp. It used to fit me until I lost weight. Now it's just annoying. Put your little cover back on. A little eight millimeter bolt. And just go back over it. You tighten that, you tighten that, you tighten that, you tighten that, and tighten that. Just recheck yourself. This is suspension. You don't want it to be loose. That is a safety issue. All right, well, we're all good. I'm just going to put my clips back in my cover right there. Sorry if I was a little out of breath. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Please check like down below. Y'all have a good day. Peace out, YouTube.